This is week seven of our animal unit, and we will be learning about reptiles today. About reptiles. Reptiles have dry, scaly skin. Some reptiles have a hard, bony plate. Reptiles have short legs or no legs at all. They move by crawling or by swimming. Reptiles need warm temperatures. They hibernate in cold winter weather. Most reptiles are meat eaters. A few eat meat and plants. Some reptiles use venom to capture their prey. Baby reptiles hatch from eggs. In some reptiles, the mother carries the eggs inside her body until they are ready to hatch. Young reptiles care for themselves as soon as they hatch. Reptiles are important to us. All right, let's begin with alligators. Alligators like to live in fresh water. The shape of its head lets an alligator keep its eyes and nose above the water as it swims. Fish, frogs, birds, snakes, and other animals that live near water are an alligator's favorite food. Alligators are very strong. A large alligator can pull a dog, a pig, or other large animals into the water. Let's compare that to the crocodile. Crocodiles look a lot like alligators, but the shape of their heads can help you tell them apart. An alligator's jaw is rounded, but a crocodile has pointed jaws, and some of a crocodile's bottom teeth stick out when its mouth is closed. A crocodile makes its home in salty water. Crocodiles can be very mean and fierce. They sometimes attack large animals, but fish, birds, and turtles are what they usually eat. We'll look at turtles now. Snapping turtle. Turtles are part of the reptile family. They are the only reptile that have a shell. Most turtles can pull their legs, head, and tail inside the shell for protection. The snapping turtle has a long neck and very strong jaws. It usually lies in the mud at the bottom of lakes and eats fish, frogs, insects, small birds, and other animals. If you find a snapping turtle, it's best not to touch it. It may take a bite out of you. Giant tortoise. This large turtle lives in the Galapagos Islands near South America. It is the largest turtle on land, measuring up to four feet long and weighing up to 600 pounds. A tortoise moves slowly. Because it is cold-blooded, it stays in the shade during the hottest part of the day. When it is cooler, the tortoise comes out to find its dinner. Some tortoises eat insects or worms, Others live on the fruit that grows on cactus plants. Let's look at snakes. We have the coral, excuse me, scarlet king snake, and over here the coral snake. This colorful snake is not poisonous, but it looks a lot like the poisonous coral snake. This fools enemies and scares them away. The scarlet king snake eats mice and other small animals. It kills animals by constriction. 
The snake wraps the coils of its body around an animal and squeezes. The animal soon dies because it cannot breathe. Then the snake stretches its jaws wide and swallows its dinner whole. Boy, I hope it doesn't take a bite out of my dogs. They sure are making noise. Coral snake. The coral snake lives in the southern United States. It usually lies in a damp, cool spot under fallen leaves and looks for lizards or other snakes to eat. Coral snakes are very poisonous. The bright stripes on its body warn people and animals to stay away from this dangerous snake. Okay, Komodo dragon. This reptile is the largest lizard alive today. It can measure up to 10 feet long and weighs up to 350 pounds. Komodo dragons are found on islands in Indonesia and Southeast Asia. Even though it has a large, heavy body, the dragon can move very quickly. It is strong enough to kill small deer and wild pigs, as well as smaller animals. Its sharp teeth, long claws, and heavy tail make good weapons. Ooh, my dogs better run fast. This Komodo dragon could definitely take them on, couldn't it? Spiny iguana. The iguana is a reptile that lives in deserts and other dry areas. You aren't likely to see an iguana in the wild, but they are often sold in pet stores. Spiny iguanas are about one to four feet long. They eat fruit, leaves, and flowers. And I'll tell you what, spiny iguanas do live in Florida. I saw them in the trees near my dad's condo a while back. They were very large guys. All right, that's all for reptiles for today. Next week, we will cover some more reptiles. How about dinosaurs? Bye, catch you next week.